good morning i hope you guys are well uh welcome to the video uh it's been a while since i've done one i uh, haven't been doing much photography let alone uh any videography of recent times but uh today uh i've come out to home fen because we've got some really excellent conditions uh it's very very cold at the moment uh it's been down to minus six minus seven overnight and we've got some hoar frost so uh, i'm going to take advantage of that uh, by coming out and taking some shots. So yes, I'm in Holmfen. I'm in one of Jamie Overland's favourite haunts. Hello, Jamie. Hope you're well, mate. I just want to jump in at this point and say that Jamie got some amazing images of the hoarfrost in this place a couple of days before I was there. So if you get the opportunity, please go and check out his Twitter feed or his Facebook page. I'll stick a link in the description for you. Uh, and yeah, I've come to take some uh, some shots of, of the fen and the trees with this beautiful glistening layer of frost on it. You'll have to forgive me because I'm really very rusty at the moment, both in my photography and my videography. On top of that, my phone seems to have forgotten how to charge itself. So I'm down to about 10% battery, which means you can have very, very little B-roll. So this could be a day of me doing an awful lot of talking and not a lot of videoing. Uh, but anyway, um, basically what we've got here is this scene in front of us where we've got all this bracken that's got all the lovely hoar frost on it. And there's one, uh, birch tree on the left hand side of the image which also is covered in hoarfrost and as you look through towards the back I think it's an oak behind it which has obviously lost all of its leaves and there's a nice little pathway that sort of leads you through through past the birch past the oak and into the unknown if you like so I've shot it at um, what am I shooting at quite about 50 millimeters actually uh, but it won't be I won't be using the whole of the of the captured image uh, because I want to crop it down to a more of a letterbox because I need to miss out a lot of the sky. Uh, but unfortunately, if you shoot it in the uh, in the um, what's the word I'm looking for in the well in the saying the crop, if you shoot it in the crop uh, that the camera gives you, I'm going to get an awful lot of sky in it. So basically, what I'm going to do is just take a bit off the top and a bit off the bottom and give you more of a letterbox shot. The sun's just bursting through as well which is lighting the scene beautifully hopefully bringing out the detail in that hall frost that's on the uh, on the branches uh, so yes yeah, so hopefully that's going to be a really nice shot Well, I'm literally just down the just down the track, really, from from where I was. So I was literally stood just over here by this big old trunk here, uh, and basically what I'm doing is I'm looking directly down this track behind me. So if I I show you that behind me, I don't know if you can see down there, but you've got some really beautiful light uh, right at the bottom there of the of the of the uh, pathway. Uh, so basically, what I've done is. Um, I've got the camera, so let me just try and show you on the camera because my phone phone battery's totally gone now. Let me try and show you on the camera. So as you can see here, this is the image uh, if I've got it fully zoomed in at 105 millimeters. And there's an awful lot of foreground in there. Now I could I could crop in, but to get a better visualization of this, what I can do is stick the APS-C crop on which then gives me a much better idea of what it's going to look like cropped in. And that's giving me the equivalent of 150 millimetres, if you like. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off uh, the bottom part of this. So it'll probably be closer to a square crop, really, than the actual image is showing here. Um, I'll take off the bottom part and uh, hopefully use this, this icy path to lead your eye up into that lovely colour and that lovely light uh, that's showing in the distance. Thank you. 
Okay, so I've got another shot here that I'm just lining up for. Uh, I'll stick it again on the camera so you can have a look at it, talk you through what I'm thinking here. So basically what we've got here is we've got this real prominent birch in the foreground that's got sort of a, an overarching um, branch that's arching over, uh, hence overarching. Uh, and that's kind of framing this uh, tree that's fallen in the background. We've got the sun just streaking across here in the, in the mid-ground, uh, producing a lovely sort of break uh, to this, uh, to this um, bracken here. So you've got, this, you've got this bracken in shade, you've got this streaking bit of light, and then you've got the bracken in shade in the background with that fallen tree. And the light again is, is gorgeous, lovely light this morning. And the, the hoarfrost hasn't all gone yet, so you're kind of getting these rem remnants of it on these branches, these delicate sort of branches that are hanging down. Plus on top of that, you've got a little bit of atmosphere and all of that all together, I think, would probably make for a really nice shot. Now, the only issues I'm having here is uh, most of these images, because I want to get this overarching branch in, I'm going to get a bit of sky in, unfortunately, which is a little bit annoying, but it is what it is. Uh, and the sky is well, literally shooting directly into the sun so the sky is going to be blown out unfortunately but that's just the price you pay for getting the rest of the shot um i'm hoping that it's going to look really nice um it looks nice on the camera so we shall see So I was filming a little bit of B-roll, um, I thought, you know, for your pleasure, uh, because, you know, otherwise it's just going to be me talking and, and the images. And uh, as I was wandering down this track trying to make out, I was sort of, you know, looking for compositions, if you will. I actually looked to the right and found an amazing one uh, and it literally stopped me in my track. So we've got this sun here. Uh, backlighting all this hoarfrost on these branches and in the background you've got the trees which have really given you a nice dark background against which this hoarfrost is standing out and then the sun is beaming in and lighting up all this bracken um, and it just looks absolutely gorgeous uh, so as you can see on the camera here I've got it here so if you can look I'll just point out here you've got this beautiful hoarfrost on the trees uh, and then in the foreground here coming down across you've got this light um, it's just beautiful it's really really beautiful uh, controlling these shots going to be difficult I'm hoping I don't get any lens flare I might have to try and just uh, work out a way of controlling that but what a beautiful shot that's going to be I think and there's three uh, tall proud birches as well which sort of really help to anchor either side and give you something else to focus on as well as that beautiful hoarfrost.
So I'm almost done now for, for this little session, but I've just come across some really nice leaves that have got all this beautiful frost on them. And they make for really nice intimate shots and you can get some real beautiful details with the with the ice on the vein on you know on the leaves and the veins of the leaves and you know, look really nice. So um, I've got a few of those. There's some, some berries here as well. I think they're berries or some old husks or something that I might try and take a shot of as well. Um, but I just wonder, um, when I got here, uh, I pulled up and there was a little robin waiting for me. Uh, popped onto a fence right next to me. And I've got some food in my car, some bird food in the car. So I gave him a little feed with some of the bird food. And uh, I wonder if he'll be there when I get back. If he is, I'll let you have a look. Anyway, enjoy these shots of these uh, leaves. Thank you. 